Hello everyone, we are from class 0 on PCT. Uh, I'm Kevin and... And I'm Jordi. I'm Joseph. Uh, and, uh, and I'm Rian. We are here to do our assignment from Mr. Daniel Nugroho. We are going to disassemble and reassemble our computer to show you the parts of a computer. First, we'll see if this computer will work properly. Uh, this is the computer and a C. Ang This computer is still quite old. Okay, this computer can work properly. Then, let turn it off and disassemble it. Uh, okay, this is the computer parts. This here is the power supply, uh, the CD drive, hard disk, okay. floppy drive, and uh, this this part here is called the motherboard. It has the CPU and other components of the computer. Hello everyone, now this is after our dis we disassembled our computer. First off, this is the computer casing, the house which all the computers parts reside in. And this is the motherboard, one of the main components of our computer. It houses all the our CPU, RAM, and it connects to the hard disk and other, other parts of the computer. Uh, this is the the, the uh, brand of the motherboard, Cardex, Cardex CDX uh, 915G. Yeah. And this is our RAM port. We put our RAM here. Just plug it in. And this is the CPU socket. This here is the heatsink for the north bridge. And the south bridge is here. Oh, sorry, there, here. And this two here is the PCI expansion slot. And this is the AGP, usually for video cards. And this is the BIOS part, where the BIOS uh, contain. Then this is the battery for the motherboard, so the system clock can keep going on even if the power slot is untook. Untook. <coughs> To supply the power to the motherboard, we use this connection. It came from the power supply, and this small parts here usually connects to the other parts of the casing, which is the USB and the power button. This is the SATA ID. Ah, ID. Sorry, and this is the SATA SATA device. And now we move off the we we move on to the back. Yeah, this is the back side of the motherboard. Um, this port is used for the mouse, this keyboard, and this for the audio, like my like mic, speaker, or else. This is the USB port. This is the input and the out, the output and the input uh, used for monitors. Now we're on to the power supply. This here supplies the power for the motherboard through the through the wall socket. Its its input is AC 220 volt, and through these cables we supply power to the motherboard and other parts of the computer, such as the fan. And to house all our data. We have the hard disk. This is the hard disk. In the brain is Barracuda Seagate. Okay. This here uses the connection called IDE. And it uses Molex for the power to power it.
Next up is one of the most important part of your computer. It's the CPU. The CPU is actually just this small, but it also needs a high, a rather high cooling. So we require this heat sink. It usually contains uh, the heat sink itself is usually made of aluminium or copper for better conduction and cooled by a fan. And this is as we if you want to see how processor is look like. Those are the metal pins of the processor. It's better if you don't it's better if you don't damage it. And this is a Pentium 4 processor. Next is the RAM for computer. It's manufactured by Fijian. Is this specific one contains 512 megabyte of random access memory. This is the DVD drive. Uh, the brand is Samsung, and this is quite old, the floppy drive. Uh, then. This is the IDA, IDA connector, connector. Uh, and now we want to assemble it and make sure it works again. Hello, now we are going to reassemble our computer. First off, we are going to plug the CPU in. This is the CPU. Uh, take note at the edge. It needs to be right in place to there. See the missing missing slot that's that's the now we're going to lock it in place after that we put the oh yeah hit sync in Now we are going to pack the power supply into its place. Uh, the fuel please. Now, uh, now it's in place and strong. And now we are putting back the DVD roll. And now we are putting back the RAM or memory. Just make sure it's locked. Yes, after we put in the DVD room, we put in the floppy and the hard disk. The floppy the hard disk is this kind of connection, it's called IDE. And I'm going to plug it in. Okay, here we are. So it works again. You can see this computer is work, work well again. So it's after we disassemble it and we assemble it again and the Windows is running right now. So it will booting. Let's check this out. Okay, let's wait for the computer to boot until it shows the desktop. Tada! Tada! This is the final booting. You can see it's work. It works everything. Uh, 
So this is it, our project about the assignment of Mr. D, Mr. Daniel Nugraha. So this is our project for the assignment about the component of PCs. Alright, we finished our assignment now. The computer is disassembled, right. reassembled, and now it works properly again. Uh, I'm Kevin. I'm Joe. I'm Jordi. And I'm Rian. Yeah. Thank you for watching our video. Yeah.